presence of God. In the presence of God, there is knowledge. In the presence of God, there are signs and wonder. In the oh, presence yes. of God, there are breakthrough. Yes. In the presence of God, there are healing. In, yes. the in the presence of God, there are all kinds of gifts in the presence of God. Yes. Why you see some Christians, yes. why you see even the holiness Christians are supposed to be enjoy the blessing of God, they are getting poor. Why are they getting poor? Because of ignorance, of not understanding what the Lord is saying concerning about their life. Because of those things, because of that, those things has caused poverty to them. And they are getting poor in spiritually, physically, financially because of lack of understanding what God has done for them. Friend, this morning we have come to really know the mind of Christ. Please, let's sing that song, if we please, without wasting time. Are we there? Want to go? I give my life for thee, my precious blood I shed. That that mistake redeem and quit forgive on the dead. I gave, I gave my life for thee. What has thou gave for me? My father's house of life, my glory cried true. I left for early now, for who roosted alone. I left, I left it all for thee. Has thou left for me? I saw far much for thee, more than that can tell of bring and rest to raise thee from hell. I born, I born it all for thee. What has thou born for me? I born, I born it all for thee. What has thou born for me? And I have brought thee. And for my my who abu salvation full and free my pardon and my loan I bring I bring rich gift to thee. What has thou brought to me? I bring, I bring rich gift to thee. What has thou brought to me? My brothers and sisters, the Lord is telling us, that I suffer much for thee. But what have thou done for me? I suffer much that mouth cannot give account. I suffer much that people cannot describe. 
for your sake, for my sake. This morning, I want us to bow down before God and look into your inner life for all God has done for you. How are you really working for Him? How are you really following Him? Are you being a staging, a staging Christian or a selfish Christian, ungrateful Christian? Who knows what the Master has done? But today, we are not ready to what to do his work for what he has done for us. What how are we not paying him? We are paying him in a wicked way. But this morning, the Lord wants to bring us back to where we started. I want you to cry unto God. Many of us today we are not thinking of our problem, we are not thinking of our life alone. We are not having a selfish interest. Having a selfish interest has caused poverty into our life. Spiritual poverty, financial poverty, material poverty. We are not having a great poverty in our life. There are a lot of troubles upon our head. That we are looking for who will help us to carry the load. Why? Because of ignorance of not knowing what Christ has given to us. Friends, this morning, I want you to cry unto the Lord and tell the Lord, I have come this morning. Tell the Lord to have mercy upon your life. Tell the Lord, Lord, deliver me. Lord, let my eyes be open this morning. Open my eye that I may see. Because when the Lord open your eyes to see the emptiness of this world, you will have the mind to serve God. Why can't you pray right now and tell the Lord, I have come, that I may know you. I have come that I may have the same heart you are having. That heart that make you to lift everything. Jesus left everything and came down to this glory, to came down to this wicked world. And the man he created, the man they slap him, the man they kick him, the man they speak to him, the man they do everything possible to stop him. Friends, this morning I want you to cry unto the Lord. Cry unto Jesus. Tell him you are here. Eternal Father, I want to bless you. I want to glorify your name this morning by giving us such opportunity to come before you. That I pray this morning that our eyes of understanding will be enlightened. You will enlighten us that we may be able to have the knowledge and follow your standard and live by your word. Father, in glory, I pray that your spirit divine will come down this morning. Lord, Amen. and open our eyes that we may see the way you see. That at the end of this message, Father, we will have the cause to glorify. Holy Spirit, we welcome you this morning. Lord, I am not worthy to take this message. But Lord, speak through my mouth to your children. Open their eyes so that they will see. At the end, glory and honor be unto you, Father. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. This morning, I want to welcome all of you, or special, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to bless God for you and I be alive. I expected a lot of people to be on the program this morning, but I find out that it's only a few of you that are there. But I bless God for your life, and I bless God for my life. This morning, we are going to be looking at a message that says, God commanded believers to give. God commanded believers to give. There is, an, there is a need of giving. Giving, we are going throughout this week, we are going to deliberate on this issue of giving. Because I've come to understand the Christian of these days, Christian of these days having a different mind, not the mind of the person they are following. By tightening our hand, has, we have tied our blessing. By opening our hand, we are receiving blessings. Many Christians today, many churches that practice holiness, but this giving, the lack of what? The lack of agape love. 
the lack of charity, the lack of what? Giving their time for the service of God. Giving their time for other people. Giving their time, giving their resources. And they, as they are giving their resources, there are, they are a supernatural blessing that they are receiving. The people that are in the war, the people that are in the war that take advantage of giving in the Bible, their life today on earth, you see these wicked people, they are prospering. Why are they prospering? Because they learn how to give bountifully. As they are giving, there are things they don't even pray before they receive blessings. Some person will say, why is it that I am going to church? I am serving God. Why God is not answering my prayer? Because God expected you, even in the little you have, give it out. But you tighten your hand, and this tightening of your hand has it is not tightening your blessing. Your hand is so close that you don't learn how to open it. If you don't, if you want to receive the first of all, you will open it. Am I right? Am I right? If you close it like this, can you receive? You can't receive anything. This is how many more, many believers, holiness brothers, holiness sister, this is how they close their hand. Because of this, they are not receiving. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 15, Deuteronomy chapter 15, we take it, let's look at Deuteronomy chapter 15. Okay, take it from verse, um, uh, let's take it from verse uh, 5, uh, yes, verse 4, take it from verse 4, to verse 4 to 8. Okay, so when there shall be no poor among, among you, for the Lord shall greatly bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance to possess it. Only if thou carefully hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all these commandments, which I command thee this day. For the Lord of God blessed thee, as he promised thee, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, but thou shalt not borrow. And thou shalt reign over many nations, but they shall not reign over thee. If there be among you a poor man of one of thy brethren within any of the gates in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not harden thy heart, nor shut thy hand from the poor brother, but thou shalt open thy hand wide unto him, and shalt surely lend him sufficient for his need in that which he wanted. Praise God. Hallelujah. Do you see what God has told us? That the land that he has given to us as heritage, as he has decided to bless us, if there be poor among us, what do we need to do? We should give to them. We should not close our hand for them. We should always what? Bless them. But today, churches, have deviated away from the instruction of God. In doing that, those things are not causing sorrow to us. Those things are causing sickness. As you are giving out all those things, you are giving out poverty in your life, you are giving out sickness, you are giving out sorrow, you are giving out disappointment, you are giving out loneliness, you are giving out many things, the troubles of this world. Because you are able to put smile on that person's face. What happened? What are you getting? Remember the Bible said, whatever you do to your neighbor, am I right? What are you doing? You are what? Also receiving it. As you are giving out to other people, you are getting abundantly. Friends, this week, I want to teach a message this week. A message of how you can work, how you can enter into the realm of blessing. 
all those sorrows in your life, those troubles in your life, that have been comparing your life, how those things will be rolled away, you will not know. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I said, I want to teach you this week how you can enter into the realm of abundance of blessing of God. Because that thing is not lacking in your life. And because of those poverty, because of those loneliness that have come into your life, the, of your, your Christianity journey is not shaking. You are not having doubt. You are not having doubt of the God you are, you are following. But I pray that doubting spirit will be root out in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. In Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3. Let's, let's see something there. I said Proverbs chapter 3. Verse 27. Proverbs. Not good from them to whom it is due, when it is in the power of the hand to do it. You can see that. We draw not good for them to who is due, when it is in the power of their hand to do it. When wet is in your hand, don't we draw good when it's needful? When a time of a need to do good, many people are saying, I do good for this person, and this person didn't reward me. Now they are waiting for people for those people reward. Of we that it is the God, it is the blessing of God you should be expecting, not the blessing of that person. Many people are be praying, 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 praying. They are answer. Why their answer are not coming? Because they have closed, they have shut the door. They have shut the door of giving. They have shut the door to understand that what God has given to them, they are what to use it to bless other people. They say no to other people. Tomorrow I will help you. Let's see in Proverbs chapter 3 also. Verse 28. Proverbs 3, 28. Let's read there. Go and come again. And tomorrow I will give you. I will give. When thou hast it. You can see that. That is what is happening today. It says, Say not unto their brethren, unto their neighbor, Go and come again. And tomorrow I will give, I will give, when thou hast it by thee. Mark the word. Many of you having food, your neighbors are suffering. You send no problem, neighbor, tomorrow. Friend, are you really a Christian? If you are a Christian, you will understand the full step of Christ. If really you are a Christian, you will know the mind of Christ we are talking about. You will really know what God has told us. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 42. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 42. Let's see something there. Matthew 5, verse 42. Give, give to him that asketh thee, and from him that would borrow of thee, turn down, turn not down away. You can see that it said, Give to him that asketh, that asketh thee, friend. How many times have we asked? How many times have you given? When you have it, when you have it out there, you can see why you have not been receiving. Somebody asks you, please, sister, I don't have clothes to wear. You tell the sister, you say, don't worry, tomorrow I will, I will see what to do. When you have enough clothes inside your wardrobe, because you bought all those your own with very expensive money, you will tell the person, hold on, tomorrow you will not go to Chinese. You will go and buy the one or five euro to tell the person to take. As you are giving out that five euro, that one or five euro, you are expecting to receive the one or five euro. When you have, when you, when you have enough that you can give more than that. My brothers and sisters, 
All those things are the result of the troubles of life many people are facing today. In Luke chapter 3, verse 11. Luke chapter 3, verse 7. Luke chapter 3, verse then 7. Said he to the multitude that came forth to be baptized of them, O generation of Bagas, who have won me to flee from the rocks to come. The, these are the, the hypocrite people that are in church. Also, here, we have them here. As they hear what we as they hear, we are preaching about this, they will not understand. Yesterday, after the meeting, but, the, but, but it enters me. Why is it that we should be strong? Why the Lord want to catapult us to another abundance of blessing? If the people that are following us can tell us the truth, they know when we started. We started this program with agape. Friend, you understand me? We started this program with what? With a great and mighty agape. That a young man like me had opportunity to get three jobs. Friend, you mark the word. Since year 2016, I'll be 15. The, by this time, if I am receiving 1,500 euros, by this time, how many, how much will be that? How many are arrows? I'm asking the question, how many arrows is going to be that? Eh? It will be much. But a young man like me, because of the agape of, of, of the love of the souls of people, I rejected the comfort. I rejected everything. Even when I had an offer, to move for, for Italy, to go and stay in Frankfurt, to be living in Frankfurt, go have a, a good job, change my document to Dutch document. But I rather decided to be here, to be suffering, drinking Gary for the souls of mankind. My brothers and sisters, you must know how this program started. We started with a great agape. Not with what, not with a, not with this mind we are, we are carrying. Why? Because I told you years ago, if you can remember, that this program was given that if the church are running 50 kilometers, what are we going to be running? What are we going to be running? The people, we, we, we should be running 100. If the church are running 100, we should be running what? How many? 200 friend because God have decided to be blessing us abundantly by the project he has given to us if God did not bless us how can we able to spend money to spend resources to train children to open doors for people friend why how can we able to enter that abundance of blessing by you and I should put off the, the this uh, this wicked mind by stitch, this stinginess that is in us that we should put it off. If we can learn how to put off stinginess, there are some things we don't even need to pray. The next thing testimony will be coming. Are you hearing me? Testimony upon testimony will be coming. That is that is the that is the word. Let's read in Roman chapter twelve. In Romans chapter 12, verse 13. Let's read something there. Romans chapter 12, verse 13. Romans 12, 13. It's the good thing for the pleasure of the hospitality. Distributing toward to necessity of the saints, giving to hospitality. But today, are we still giving to hospitality? If paravation, we really want to talk of the little things we was asking yesterday. There are some people who have it out there. And that we are talking about to do a great business. A business of the Lord. To do business with God. Friend, is there anybody that do business with God that will regret it? No. I'm asking the question. Abraham. No. Learn how to do business. 
when a voice speaks to Abraham, Abraham, do you know that the parents of Abraham they didn't know God? When the voice speaks to Abraham, Abraham, leave your father's house and leave your country to a land that I will show you. Abraham did not what? Did not question the voice. Abraham did not say, Who is this voice? Abraham obeyed. That is a great sacrifice. Do you understand that? After all this whole thing, after the trials of Abraham, after the trials of Abraham, eh, the Lord told Abraham, I he promised Abraham. Friend, after 25 years of promise, and our God told Abraham, Abraham, carry your son Isaac now and go and kill that child. I need the blood of that child. Friend, did Abraham say, Hey, come and see this wicked God? If it is you, if it is you, just like as you padlock your life now, you have padlock your resources not to use it to do God's work. What have you done? You have learned how to work. You have now you have now practiced how to work, how to close the doors of abundance of blessing. Whenever God is telling us to give, God is not interested of that. Why God demand of our money? God want to what? God want to catapult us to another blessing. Don't you know that God? can command his children to go to inside the river again to any any fish you have any fish the first fish you will catch open the mouth of the fish and what and open the mouth there is a money there don't you know god can do that i'm asking a question don't you know yes, god sir. can do it again did he do it before eh friend did he do it before yes he did it, it did it. but he can still do it this time but the lord want to be what using the woman the woman people the woman's angel that he has blessed he want to catapult them to another level he want to remove people away from poverty my brothers and sisters after that god told abraham to go and sacrifice abraham did not say lord why are you so wicked like this that the the, the only child you gave me you are still telling me to go and sacrifice. What did Abraham did? Abraham said, Lord, I go. Friend, you must learn how to give that gold because of God. If really you want to enter into, a, into abundance of blessing, you must learn. I tell you, the bless, I don't struggle the way people struggle. I, I, I tell you on that. I don't think the way people are thinking. After that, Abraham gave out the only child, the promised child. What happened? God said, God said, Abraham, now I know thou fear me. Abraham, because of this you have done alone. He said, now, what happened? God swear with his name. Why did God swear? For Abraham to have this assurance, I am the almighty. That I will do it. He didn't say anything to swear. Because nothing is bigger than him. He used his, his swear by himself. My brothers and sisters. If you learn how to give those good. Silver that are so precious. Eh? I tell you. You will learn how to receive great things from God. Because of uh, that stitching mind. Stitching heart. I've entered many of you. Praise the Lord. Let's look at God's blessings. God bless us when we give. When we give, God release his abundance of blessing. In Matthew chapter 6 verse 5. In Matthew chapter 6 verse 4. Sorry. Matthew chapter 6 verse 4. Let's see something there. God give. God release his blessing. Upon all those that give, there is a blessing that follows. Because anything you are doing in this world, there are blessings that are caused. I don't want to take you to to see the cause, but I want to see you. I want to show you the blessing that follow them that give. Are we there? That thing has made me in secret, and the Father who fears in secret himself shall reward him openly. Do you see that? That your Father who seeth. In secret shall reward you, I tell you, because he knows what you have done. 
he knows what you have done. <laughs> In Proverbs chapter 11, verse 50, uh, 25. Proverbs chapter 11, verse uh, 25. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 25. Are we there? Go ahead, please. The liberal soul shall be made fat, and he that watereth shall be watered also himself. Man, the word. Yesterday, our sister was testifying how she gave three salary. Three salary, she gave it out. But today, if I tell you the blessing of that sister today, the day you are going to hear her testimony, you will shock of what God is doing for her. How the enemy decided to pin her for years, but today God is not blessing her. That sister have not even started, she has not still seen blessing. When God will embarrass her, people will envy her. At that time, God will not grant pepper and give to those people. Do you understand me? Giving tea, her three salary. She worked in Europe and what happened? She gave her three salary. My brothers, and you will not tell me a person that learned how to give out three salary and it's somebody that gave out one salary. It's somebody that decided to give out five five, five, five euro. It's somebody that decided to give one euro. You will not tell me that person, they are going to receive the same blessing. Am I right? Am I right? No. Is that no. not true? Eh? They are going to receive the same blessing. <laughs> you can see, he said, he that what? He that give it, what happened to the person? The, as you did, as you as you have done, the same thing return back to you in where we read in that uh, in that place in the in Proverbs chapter chapter eleven verse 20, 25, Have a great a great word to tell you, sir. The labor souls shall be made fat, and he that watereth shall be also what he shall be watered also himself. Mark the word as you have given the same thing you are receiving in in the Proverbs chapter 13, verse 7. Let's read there. Proverbs 13, verse 7. Are we there? There is that maketh himself rich, yet has nothing. There is that make himself poor, yet he has great riches. Mark that word. There is, there is that maketh himself rich, yet has nothing there is he that maketh himself poor yet has a great world a great riches do you know what is the meaning of that that you gave all you have you can hear when that pastor was telling us time ago he said that he that he learned how to do business with god that he will not zero his account for the sake of the gospel when we was talking, uh, my daddy was talking about bringing boss, buy boss for the program that was for the program, and he learned how to buy boss. He said, "Lord, I use all the money that I have, or now I push it so that for your work to be done." He said, "Now, Lord, my account is empty." You can see here that a person, a rich person, you make it yourself to be poor. What happened? And now that person now make it himself to be what to be rich. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But but he said he said something. He said there is a he said there is that maketh himself rich. Praise the Lord. And many of you are not making yourself to be rich by the thing God has given to you. You close the door not to learn how to work, not to learn how to give it to other people. As you learn how to not to use it to support the work of God, what happened? You are making yourself to be rich. Say so right now. You want to you are you want to do everything by yourself that you have pushed God what God is saying aside. Those things has caused us poverty. But those people that have that have been given that make themselves to be poor, what happened yet has great riches. So people have a great riches. My brothers and sisters, we must learn how to put off this uh, memory we are carrying today. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 10 and 11. Isaiah 58, 10 and 11. Let's see something there. 
Isaiah 58, 10, 11. Go ahead. Isaiah 58, 10, and 11. And if thou draw out the soul to, to, un, to the hungry, and uh, satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall the light rise in obscurity, and thy darkness be as the new day. And, and the Lord shall guide thee continually, and satisfy thee thy soul in drugs, and make fat thy bones, and thou shalt be like a water, a, a water garden, and like a spring of water, whose water fail not. You can see that. Whose water fail not. The Lord will make your darkness to be new, new day. Why will he do that? Why? Why is he going to do that? Who can tell us? Why? Because if all you have, you can you can imagine that. My my. You remember the hungry, those who are hungry, my, the afflicted. That that is it. The Lord will make you make your light to shine a darkness in your life like a new day. That night will become a it will become daytime. Because God never leaves such a person. Hey, I was I I was so shocked yesterday when I begin I gave opinion I gave time to everybody to be talking. I want to hear everybody's opinion. I begin to see poverty. God forbid poverty will not be on this group. Do you hear what I said? Poverty will not what be on this group. God forbid. God forbid, friend. That pray all those things that remain. Does it even enough for one person to say? So forget about that. I take I take over that matter because I want God. I am expecting a great thing for God. Friends, we must learn how to change our mind. We must learn how to what? Change our mind. We must learn how to open our hand to all. The things, all those that are in it, in Luke chapter 8, 6, verse 38. I just want to show you some places in Bible. We close tomorrow. We are going this throughout this week. I want to show you how you can enter abundance of a uh, of blessing of God in Luke chapter 8, verse 38. Luke 8, 38. Man out of whom the devils were departed, he sought him. Look at no, sorry, look sees 38. Sorry, look sees 38. Look sees 38. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over, shall men give unto your bosom. For with, for with the same measure that ye Next, whether it shall be mentioned unto you again. Man, the world. You can say today, people that are talking about holiness, we have moved out. Why you see all those rubbish people that don't have the world? They are getting the blessing. The focus of what? Giving. Prosperity. Prosperity. All these are the things they, they focus on. And then because of that, they are what? Getting their money in Luke chapter 6, verse 30, verse 38. They are getting their blessing. They are getting their blessing. But today, the holiness people, they are the people that are supposed to be even to be enjoying the blessings. But those people that are in the world, they are the one that enjoy the blessing. But the, but the, but, but the matter, those people can have the money, but they will not, they will lose heaven. But you need to learn how to work to break through into that world into that miracle god has prepared not for them the miracle is meant for you the riches of god is meant for you not those people that don't have the word of god you need to understand that that as you give give and it shall be given unto you good measure pressing down and shaking together and running over shall men give unto your bosom for with the same measure that ye measure with it shall be measured to you again. The same thing as you give five arrows, at the end you give you get five arrows. 
as you give one euro, you receive one euro. As you give 50 cents, you receive 50 cents. That is the truth. There is no cheating about that. Friends, we are going to stop here because of our time. When we come back tomorrow, we talk about the other point that say, give it to God's work. There is a need of giving to God's work. When we give, we are giving to Jesus. We will look at all those messages. There is a need to understand all this message so that you can enter your breakthrough. Friend, what are those things that you lack in your life? What are those things that feed your life? Maybe it's because of your stinginess. You are pray, 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 pray. You don't understand. Why? Because super glue have entered your hand today. Super glue, you have padlocked your, your account. I want you to look into your life. We sang a song that said, I gave all for, for thee. If Christ didn't hold back his life, he sacrificed his life, why will I not hold back my life? Why will I not hold back my resources? Why will I not hold back, hold back my silver and gold? When the Lord is telling us he needs them, he wants to raise multitudes of youth. He wants to raise multitudes of children. He wants to carry this gospel to another level. Friend, what type of mind are we having these days? Let's bow down our head and look into our life. Have you, are, are you the one that opened the door for poverty to enter your life? Or you have opened the door for sickness to enter your life? Or you have opened the door for loneliness to enter your life? Or you have been expecting, but you are not getting? What are those things you have been expecting? Maybe you are saying, the little one that I have, how can the little one they are giving me, how can I use it to do God's work? If I do it, Ah, I would be poor. If I do it, how would I eat? My friend, do you remember that window woman in the Bible? That window woman that the servant of God met. And then these people, this young, this woman was having a little food to eat with his, his son and die. And the man of God said, go and bring me the food. Friend, go and bring me the food. This is the last food. Go and bring me the food. Friend, Maybe you have little oil now, but the Lord is saying, my son, my daughter, I am in need of that little oil because I want to open pump of oil in your life. You will be like a river that have no end. That is what God is saying. Bow down your head and let's talk to God this morning. Bow down your head. Let's cry unto God and tell the Lord to have mercy on us. Where I have not been doing the work, how now? How do you not still cook food now to call neighbor? Neighbors come and eat. How do you do that? Those days when we started, you can't. Agape was there. But today, stinginess is not coming. Poverty is not coming. God forbid. We must close door of we must close door against poverty. We must close the door of poverty. We must close the door of what of failure, of hardship. Of dryness, of a disappointment, of loneliness, of all those things, trouble that are that are we have we finish a program that says the strong man must give way. But now you need to understand what God is telling us this time this time. Bow down your head and talk to God. Bow down your head and look into your life. Tell the Lord to help to help you as on today you change your mind. Talk to God. Eternal Father, I want to bless you. I want to give you thanks for your goodness and mercy upon our life. Daddy, you command believers to learn how to give. Daddy, because we are being ignorant of not giving, those things have caused poverty to us. Mercy from Father, but yesterday was a great day that you used that great day that day to open our eyes this morning for us to learn, learn for you. My father in glory, you told us to follow your footsteps. If you didn't hold back your life, that is why will I hold back my silver? Is my silver more precious than your life? Is my silver more precious than the, that true? My father, you left everything to come down in this world to die for me. My father in glory. I want to thank you for what you have done. Daddy, I pray 
to have mercy upon my life and forgive me. Where I have caused poverty, where I have caused disappointment, where I have caused sickness, where I have caused hardship into my life. Father, by not knowing how to give, merciful Father, Lord, I pray that you will forgive me. Daddy, oh Lord, help me and help all your children. Hearing my voice this morning, that this mind that Satan has sold into our heart, Father, this mind will not be there. Holy Spirit, I pray for as many of your children that hear this message, that none of them, my Father, will go astray. Help them, my Father, that Satan will not poison them. Lord, many of them, they are under the influence of the devil. Devil have deceived them. But this morning, that power that have been deceiving them, let that power be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Holy Amen. Ghost, have your way in the life of your children. Lord, as we obey you, let the blessing begin to flow. In the name of Jesus. Blessed be the Holy Father. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Beloved brothers and sisters, we have come to the end of this to this program. And then there will be no uh, question and answer today. The next program is going to be 12 midnight, the ninth vision. Endeavor to be there. The please endeavor to make sure that when the program is on, to be sharing the uh, Facebook, uh, uh, Facebook because this period, we are we lost a lot of contact on the Facebook, and uh, we you and I is the one that we do the work. We don't have money now to be sp to the, to be spending on Facebook as uh, as I do time ago, and uh, we take time to build all those uh, page, all this pro uh, page of our of Facebook. But today we have lost we have lost them. But we must uh, by you sharing it to those group you belongs to, you share it on your Facebook when the message is going on. People are seeing us again. They begin to follow us so that we can able to rescue the people. Uh, the devil use uh, use them to to disconnect us for us not to have access to reach out to people because the Satan knows what we are what we are heading to. We are heading to really hit the point of the numbers. But uh, Satan use uh, use the craftiness to to discourage us for us not to be on Facebook. But we can't be otherwise. This gospel must be preached. In all over the world, but for the message to reach all over the world, you and I will begin to share the message. When we begin to share, share the message every blessed day, you begin to see people are coming back home. And I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship on the Holy Spirit, bless and bear with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, may his goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Our life is hidden in Christ Jesus. Jesus is in God the Father. Therefore, our life will be safe and secure in the name of Jesus Christ. Our life is hidden in Christ Jesus. Jesus is in God the Father. Therefore, our going out, our coming in, every activities of today that we safe and secure in the name of Jesus Christ. In the book of uh, Micah chapter 7, verse 7 and 8, I will look unto the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall rise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me in the name of Jesus Christ. In Galatians chapter 6, verse 70, For henceforth, let no man trouble good morning just family foundation, for we bear in our body the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that no man or woman will be able to trouble you in Jesus' name. God bless you and have a blessed and wonderful day.